Okay, so as you know, come on, just when I'm stuck. Now you want to be in anyways. I've come up with a possible alternative uh, to putting, um, to rolling the ball in the green. Um, and it's kind of like a sidecar, a gentle sidecar. Here, here it is. So... I figured that, okay. This, you know, the part of the, the part of the stick here, right? It's, it doesn't allow a whole lot of movement side to side, right? So it's a good way to control uh, the direction of the ball, right? So, you know, let's you know use this to roll the ball, right? So here's what I'm doing. So I have the same grip and stance as a sidecar, but when I hit it. Um, I just kind of scoop it up from the ground, right? So let's go back and look at this more. So, see, so you see how the ball kind of goes to the back of the um, head and scoops up. And then after the shot, the follow through, I stop the head on the ground, right? That's how I stop the forward motion. And it just kind of it just kind of a sensitive feeling of when to put the club on the ground for me at least right so look at this from the forward perspective all right so putting the head on, on the ground to me just kind of just kind of slows it down right it stops the forward motion so looking at it again right so at first i'm looking at the ball and as the ball travels i'm looking at how it's releasing out of the head. And then again from behind. So you can still hear the clank sound of it hitting the back of the, uh, of the you know, inside of the head, right? And so just want to show this a slow-mo from behind and club head on the ground. So you can see this in detail so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Since this is kind of a, a, a cradle and follow through and let it go, if you're here and your ball settled there, you're letting go here like it, it's, it's not the same distance. So... I think it's fair that if you're gonna use, if I'm gonna use the method, that I back up a full um, stick length away from the hole, right, and do it from there. Now, being that my carpet runs off into the into the hardwood floor, um, I'm gonna tilt this a little bit and say that you know, here here's here's where I'm gonna start back here, right? So I'm gonna count a club length here, right, and. Back here is where I'm going to stand. I'm going to bring my ball back there. There we go. That was really nice and smooth. It's really a really fluid, um, smooth, just finesse type of motion, type of shot. So another strategy I've, I've seen, I've developed with this sidecar uh, putt thing is um, just hitting it off the back part of here and not really doing a whole lot of follow through, just kind of relying off the tap of this. Um, of course, you got to push it a bit, right? Um, but it's not that smooth, fluid, lean forward follow through that I was doing um, previously. Um, this is more of a short, you know, pretty much a bump and run, right? You're just letting it bump off the back and roll. Um, but you're doing it not sideways like an actual bump and run, but the sidecar, it's like a sidecar bump and run sort of. So um, that seems to work really well <laughs> so what i think is just like um you know the less um 
the less time that your ball can veer left or right when you're following through is a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of various variables that can come into play when you're following through and the ball is still in the head it can go left right you know and all that but when you have this just this quick really quick motion here um and it's just tapping and, and, and bumping off the back and running um it's, it seems like it you know may give you some more you know a bit more accuracy and less room for less room for error but it's like it it takes the amount of error that you can put in the shot it kind of eliminates it because you're just tapping and letting this thing run and i said i think i said before that i wasn't looking at the target when i was doing this that i'm kind of looking at the ball and its connection with the with the head so that I can kind of get a feel of you know where the ball is in the head and how fast it's gonna come out but I think as I've done this more I think what's the most comfortable for me I think is doing it in between where I'm not looking at the target uh, I'm not solely focused on the target. I'm not solely solely focused on the ball in the head. My eyes are kind of in this general direction where the release is going to happen. Right? And I'm just making sure that the, you know, just want my eyes to see that it's going to line up with the hole. You know, this is new. I'm just kind of experimenting, just kind of giving you, you know, the thoughts and what I've what I've felt when I when I do this shot. It's kind of a mix between, I don't know, a bump, like a, a bump, a bumper car. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a mix between a, a bump and run and a side car, bumper car. Hey, coin that, coin that. Now, within, within, uh, let's see, because I'm still going to be using the pad, right? I'm not completely eliminating it. Um, but for maybe five feet plus, I think I'll use the bumper car. Yeah. So there it is. The bumper car. Oh, no,